For centuries, European brown bears have been playthings for humans. So there we were, a few hours later, travelling in a convoy across Turkey with gypsies as escorts and a hundred kilo brown bear for company. Richard Carlton, of course, was a man who loved danger. Do you know that I was receiving your shells last night? He, he intrigued people by his arrogance and willingness to do things that other people didn't do. Welcome to Afghanistan. The conditions here are appalling. Uh, the questions he asked were impossible to, to uh, duplicate. Not very plausible, though, is it? Richard could say extraordinary things that I wouldn't say to you. I wouldn't say to another human being. But Richard just didn't know that this was going to be wounding. Unless you did that to me, I'd give you a smack in the face. <laughs> That'll be the last smack you give me. It doesn't bother you that you laughed at or ridiculed? No, no, why should it, you know? That kind of stuff was amazing. Richard took a ne'er do well who's been on the dole for a couple of years. That's how Richard saw it. You're not really much of a human being, are you? Me? Yes. And he said, well, you're not much of a human being, are you? Not much of a specimen of humanity. Convince me that you're not a dole bludger. Well, I get up in the morning, I, I get on the bus, I go and I look for work. Tell the truth. Isn't life easier being on the dole? Richard said later, oh, yeah. you know, when I looked back at that, I thought, well, here's this big man beating up on this pathetic little person. It wasn't very good. I, I don't know what a pork pie is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is a lie. No, you know, when I look back, I, I'm not very pleased with myself. But Richard's best question ever, he's talking to the completely mad Shirley MacLaine. And then you felt that you were able to talk to the elephant because you'd met the elephant in a previous life. You find that difficult to understand? I find it impossible. He said, perhaps, Miss McLean, I, I should ask you, is there anything that you don't believe in? What a great question. If that was Richard's best question, his uh, close second would most likely be his very last question. He was at Beaconsfield covering the trapped miners and he asked one very significant question. And in doing that, he gave all the other journalists there really a masterclass. Why is it that you continue to send men into work in such dangerous environment? He said, was it greed or love of gold, as I remember? Uh, he didn't get an answer to it. He didn't even wait for an answer. I don't think he was expecting to get one. He turned away. He looked at the camera. He walked away and then he collapsed. I'll tell you a story that you probably can't use, uh, but when John Westlicott, the EP, heard from a tearful producer that Richard had died, do you know what Wesley's first question was? It was, has he done the voiceover? On Anzac Day, the earth beneath Beaconsfield rumbled, but not for the first time. And fortuitously he had, and that sounds horrendously callous, but after that, of course, Westlicott dissolved into tears, as we all did. This is about as far off the beaten track as you can get. Look, I want you to look at the centre of that clock right there, OK? If you concentrate on the clock... We were always going to miss Richard Carlton. He was a unique journalist and a unique personality. Oh, love him. Miss him every day. And so does the show. Professionally, Richard set the benchmark in storytelling and in, in some of his interviews. He, he did extraordinary interviews. They seem to be saying, you stop the bombing, the suicide bombers particularly, and they'll stop bombing you. Who had started? So the greater man will be the one who stops, not the one who starts it. It's a different age now. I don't think there is even room for another Richard Carlton now. The world has become too contracted, uh, too mean-spirited in a way. There's no more time for discourse. People only want what is acceptable, and the politically unacceptable, the politically incorrect. It's a curse on journalism. Richard got out just in time, I think. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.